Hi folks, Don Bailey. We've had a lot of requests for the inner workings of our master grind, so we decided that we would take you back here and show you how it's all put together and what it takes to make one. It's pretty incredible, pretty incredible story all the way around. So we're going to start with the casting. This is the casting that we have made, that's the body. You get a good shot of that, Glenn? Oh yeah. Uh, it's a master grind, where's the coffee? Uh, where's the what? The coffee. Coffee's over there, dude. I thought Master Grind was a coffee. <laughs> no, that's a Master Ground, not Master Grind. Anyway, uh, once we take the casting and put it in our machine, we bore it out. I don't know if you can see that. You get a good shot of that, bud? Oh, yeah. uh, you can see the uh, different uh, grooves that we have to put in there for the seal, the bearings, etc. And of course, there's holes bored in there, the front the bottom and there's holes that are specific and you know why these holes are there Glenn? To hold it down? Well yeah but hold it down on what? Hold it down on our sign plate because it's part of our master grind setup. So that's the body. Spindle, this is what it looks like when it's rough turned and black oxided and here's what it looks like after it's been ground on the ODs. And yet it has to be ground here, which is done at the assembly. And then we have the index. And by the way, this index is every five degrees. Uh, some of them out there are, most of them are 15 degrees. As far as I know, we're the only one that gets five degree indexing. And five degrees is critical because you can get increments of 10, obviously. You know, you can't do that with a 15 degree index. It's 15, 30, 45, etc. And then, of course, we have the V-block that goes in the front of the spindle. And the degree wheel, which goes on the back here, as you can see it. The handle for it. And the drawbar, which is used in the case of a, a 5C collet, which slips in like so. And the bottom plate. The bottom plate, which is heat treated, hardened and ground. Everything's finished within a couple of tenths. Then, of course, we have the pins for locating. And that gives you an idea what it what it looks like, except for the bearings, which I want to talk about. This is a Tim Ken bearing. Tim Ken and Barb won't, so they are still arguing. There was no sleep last night. Tim didn't get any of that. Not the Tim Allen, by the way. This bearing is made specifically specifically for us. It, it runs out within 50 millionths. That's our spec. So they uh, they have to make these, Timken has to make these specifically for our master grind. And this bearing, as you can see, is a taper roller bearing, which means that it can take tremendous forces for a long period of time. It's rare that we replace the bearings on, on our master ground. We've, we've, we've done it as many years as we've been making these, which is about 20. I don't think we replace bearings in 20 of them. It just, it just, they just don't seem to wear out. And they're matched. So these are matched bearings. And again, to run within 50 millions. You know how close that is? No, hair. Hair fix. Here's four thousands roughly. So when you talk about fifty millionths, we're talking about not just fifty millionths in uh, uh, in diameter, but fifty millionths in runout. Which means that I can't put this thing back in the friggin' box. Jim, can you put that back in the box? I can't figure out how to do that. You got to be a mechanic to Jim do that. Can. Tim can. can. <laughs> Tim can. Yeah, give this back to Tim. Let him do it. So, what do we do with the master grind? So now we've got it. We understand what it takes to put it together. And, oh, you know something I, did, I forgot to mention, Glenn? The bearings are preloaded. What that means is when the spindle is put in here, there's a bearing on the right, one on the left, because there's two bearings in there. And these bearings are trapped in there, and they're compressed to a, a small amount of, of pressure so the bearings aren't sloppy, but they're not too tight. If they're too tight, it won't turn right. If it's too loose, then you're going to get play in it, and you won't get good accuracy. So there's two of those bearings in here, and this is what it looks like once it's put together. Let me move some of this junk out of the way. This is what it looks like when it's put together. And as you can see, it's a beautiful piece of art. 
and we make everything here. We don't make the bearings and we don't make this, but we make everything else. So it's all made here in our facilities. What can we do with a master grind? Well, for one, this gives you an idea of a pin. If you needed to grind a point on it, you'd put that on a sign plate like so at whatever that is. It looks like that's about 30 degrees, I think. And you put it in the surface grinder and grind it. That's one. Here's an example of a punch. Can you zero in on that? An idea of a punch that can be ground on here. Grind the flat, radius, flats on the back side. All that can be done in a master grind. Here's another example of it over here on this other one. Here's an example of grinding four sides. 180 degrees apart, so 90 in each side. And lastly, here's a master grind with a V-block off of it, and we put a 5C collet in it. So with a 5C collet, you have access to uh, any, most any dimension you want, any radius rather, that you want for holding uh, anything that's round. So it's really a versatile tool. Now, you can buy, where's the, uh, where's the import? Thank you, James. We, this is a, by the way, did you know that today was, uh, I think it's today. Whose birthday is it today? You told me earlier. Franklin? No. Uh, What's her name? Sophia Loren. Oh, Sophia Loren, yeah. She turned 80, right? Yeah. They're trying to say she's the Kim Kardashian of her day. She's still, she's still pretty hot for 80, right? She's beautiful. You young tool makers out there, you don't even know who the hell she is, right? They don't even know who Sophia, Sophia Loren. Loren. Yeah, we'll look up uh, Kardashian. Now, maybe that's a... <laughs> yeah, they're tired of Maybe they do, right, right. They're similar to what they were. She was. Well, here's an example of, a, of an indexing fixture that we import. And this fixture is, listen, for the money, it's, you know, it's a pretty good value. It's, it's $900 or so. Uh, it's good for radiuses. And it does have an index in there, but it's 15 degrees again. It does not have the 5C capability. Uh, but, you know, it's a, for somebody that's a, a hobbyist or somebody that doesn't want to spend a lot of money and doesn't need the... What about the rollers? Is that Timken rollers or what? No, no, it's got it's got a single or a row of ball bearings in there, which, uh, well, technically they're nowhere near as good as uh, roller bearings, so we don't, we don't need to get into that. But no, it's not. It's it's a different animal. This thing probably weighs. I'm going to guess this is about maybe 12 pounds, uh, and I think that we're 25 to 30 somewhere in that area. So it's it's a completely. Uh, I mean, just look at it. You can see it's completely different. Oh, well, big time. So, but you know, for the guy that just wants something to do some round stuff and isn't too concerned about accuracy, nothing wrong with that. Uh, here, the other thing we have is, is an advantage is that this does bolt onto our sign plate, as I mentioned, our sign set system, which means you can butt it up against a backstop. You don't have to indicate it in because it's going to be square to the sign plate. And there's a couple of screw holes back here where you can bolt it on to secure it. Also, we have a motor drive for it, which we didn't even talk about, did we? So we do have a motor drive that's available, and there's a V groove, there's a belt groove right here, rather, uh, for, the, uh, for the belt that comes with the motor drive. So it's an attachment that bolts right on, and uh, we also have available a pair of centers. If you want to put uh, bench, if you want to turn this into a form of a bench center, you can do that as well. So in closing, for any further information, go to our website. You can take a look at the pricing. You can take a look at all of our thousands of products that we have in there. And uh, we welcome any suggestions or ideas that you may have about how you have used a master grind. Or if you are curious and you want to know more about how we use it, drop us a line, drop us a note, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got a number of videos on there, I think somewhere around 30, uh, all of which are helpful. and. Uh, we're going to continue to provide you with more YouTube videos as time goes on. So again, thanks for watching and uh, check us out on our website, subtool.com.